first year experience that you've heard about. The goals of the first year experience are to make connections with other students, the faculty, and the college. Connect your new college life to future goals, future life plans, and find the students, faculty, and staff who share common goals and interests. Provide you with strategies and resources for success that will help you to become more self-reliant, self-sufficient, and responsible. Log on to my Brookdale portal to find out more about your FYE passport and ePort. What is the HUDV 107 First Year Seminar? This is the course I mentioned a few slides ago. It's usually taught by student development specialists. It's a one credit course. In this course, you will learn about time management, information literacy, what are your graduation requirements, transfer planning, your learning style, Brookdale resources, critical thinking, study skills, test taking strategies, career exploration, and library resources. These are just some of the reasons why this one credit course is such a wonderful course for AccuPlacer test scores. What do your scores mean? Before we jump into what do your scores mean, it's important to talk about why do we have you take the AccuPlacer test. We have you take the AccuPlacer test to assess what are your skills related to reading, writing, and arithmetic to algebra to ensure that you can be successful. All colleges in New Jersey require students to take this exam prior to um, starting their classes. Now, you might not have had to take the AccuPlacer exam based on your SATs. If you scored critical reading of a 540 or higher, you were away from the reading and the writing. If you scored a 530 or higher for the quantitative SAT, you were away from both pre-algebra and introductory algebra. Here's a chart of what your scores mean. If you score between a 20 and 78 on sentence skills, you will need to take English 095 your first semester. If you score between a 79 and 120, you will need to take English 121 your first semester. For reading, if you score between a 20 and a 50, you will take reading 091, then reading 092 the next semester. If you score between a 51 and a 79, you will need to take reading 095. If you score between an 80 and 120, you do not need to take a reading course. For arithmetic, if you score between a 20 and a 35, you will need to take Math 011, and then the next semester you will take Math 012. If you score between a 36 and a 70, you will need to take Math 015. If you score between a 71 and 120, you don't need to worry about arithmetic, and then we look at your scores for algebra. Now, algebra is very challenging to talk about because it really depends on your major. It depends on your major, where you plan on transferring, and what is your previous exposure to algebra. But as a summary, if you score between 20 to 75, you should register for Math 021. If you score between a 76 and 85, you will register for Math 025 or a specific math after consulting with a student development specialist. If you score between an 86 and 120, you do not have to take either Math 021 or 025, but you will want to talk to a student development specialist to determine the best algebra course for you. Now, how many of you want to retest? That's usually a popular question for students after they look at their basic skill scores. Yes, you are allowed to retest. Everyone is allowed one retest chance, so you want to make it count. So to talk before you retest, you're going to need to meet with a student development specialist or a counselor and request permission to retest. You're going to want to study. And we placed some helpful study guides and practice questions and information about the, the, um, the exam on the web address that's listed here. Now you can retest. No appointment is necessary if you retest in the testing center, which is in the car building. If you wish to retest at a higher education center, branch campus, or disability services office, you will need to take an, make an appointment. If you are retesting for the English part of the exam, that is an essay test, and that is only offered at the writing center, which is in Larison Hall. Remember, you can only retest once, and please retest before the start of the semester. Once the the basic skills course um, starts, you cannot retest. What we don't want to see happen is two weeks into the term, you realize it's too easy, and then you come asked to retest, and we can't do that. Once the semester starts, we cannot have you retest because all the other courses have started. We can't move you into a course because you'll miss too much work. Now, after you take the test, you're going to meet with a counselor or a student development specialist to review your scores and modify your schedule, hopefully. To make an appointment, please log onto the portal and make an appointment via advisor track. For assistance with logging onto the portal or making an appointment, please view the tutorial available at the web address list. 
Here are some examples of first semester classes, but again, you're going to go over this with your student development specialist to pick the classes that you are most excited about. We have the first year seminar, the English composition course, a foreign language, computer literacy, intro to sociology, political science, intro to psychology, life sciences, anthropology, algebraic modeling, American civilization, music appreciation, film appreciation, theater appreciation, world civilization, recent American history, environmental science, intercultural communications. Those are just some of the courses you could take your first semester in. Here's a list of some of the tools that you will find helpful during your time here at Brookdale. The catalog, this is an invaluable resource. This is your contract with the college. It's available online at the web address listed. In this, you're going to have your course descriptions, prerequisites, student conduct code, and general education requirements. WebAdvisor, this is your online resource to help you register for classes, print out your schedule, make a payment online, check your progress towards graduation, and get some financial aid information. For assistance using WebAdvisor, please view the tutorial online at the web address listed. You also will want to get your student ID photo taken and your student ID. This will allow you to take books out of the library, also access online resources, as well as get discounts on movie tickets and participate in special events. Here is an example of a sample semester schedule. Notice the students spread their schedule out over four days. Um, the student has Fridays off. Now, you have the ability to make your own schedule, but your first semester we really do encourage you to spread your schedule out over four days. This will allow you to spread out your homework, and also um, during midterms and finals and paper season, you will never have more than one or two finals or papers due in one day. Um, you'll see how the first semester goes, and the next semester you might want to spread it out further for five days, or you might feel that you can handle three days, but this is basically um, a sample of your schedule. Now this student has two classes on Monday, 8 a.m. to 10.45 and 12.30 to 1.45. Tuesdays and Thursdays they have two classes. They have about a two-hour break in between, and they can use that time to go to the math lab, work on homework. And then the student only has one class, even though it has a lecture and lab on Wednesdays. But again, it's very nice to have off on Friday. Are you a full-time student? Full-time is 12 credits at the minimum. Most students will take between 12 and 16 credits. To have an idea of how many credits should you take your first semester in college, 12 credits is the lowest amount of credits you can take and be full-time. If you double that, that gives you an idea of how many hours a week you need outside of school for homework, research, and studying to be successful. Add those two numbers together, 24 and 12 equals 36 hours a week dedicated to college if you want to be successful. That gives you a, an idea of why 36 hours or why 12 credits specifically is considered a full-time schedule because it would require about 36 hours a week. Part-time is going to be fewer than 12. Tips to get started with your schedule. We would suggest you start scheduling the half dues based on your basic skills exam, the math, the English, and the reading. Please consider taking the first year seminar. Schedule your classes at meet twice a week first and on the, maybe on the same days. So for example, math and reading classes meet twice a week. Try to schedule them on the same two days to save money on gas. You're going to want to talk with the student development or specialist or counselor about retesting if you did not pass a section of the basic skills exam. Now I forgot to mention, you do not have to retake the entire basic skills exam. So if you only want to retest in one area, you can. If you want to retest in all areas, you can. But if you pass one, you don't have to take that one again. Questions. If you have any questions, please make an appointment with a student development specialist by logging onto the portal, and you can make an appointment via advisor track. If you need assistance with logging onto the portal or making an appointment, please review the t tutorials online at the web address listed. Please remember the only silly question is the one not asked. Now, thank you for listening to my presentation. Welcome to Brookdale, and please make an appointment if you ever have any questions.